Hey everyone, if you watched my video on the Big Max furnace for my pole garage, I want you to uh, take a look at this video here that I'm making and uh, just a little modification and uh, hopefully this will resolve my issue. Last year I installed this Big Max furnace by uh, Mr. Heater and uh, it heats my garage really well. Uh, I had no issues with it other than on really windy days and on really windy days what was happening was the wind is coming back in through the exhaust a little bit more than the furnace likes and it's throwing a sensor so it's cutting out and uh again if you haven't watched my video take a look at it up above you'll see how i installed this furnace but what i have on the outside was a T, a termination T, and let me take you outside here real quick, show you what I mean. Well, I've already moved the T, so I can't show you that, but what you'll see here is just a straight termination coming off the back of the building here. And uh, I have the T in here on the workbench, so I'll show you what's going on. This is the, uh, the T that was up there for the exhaust. And uh, on each end, it just kind of has an open-ended exhaust, free-flowing. Uh, I think a little bit too much sometimes, just because it lets that air back up through here too easily. So I did some research, and people have changed the end caps on these. And in windy areas, they've had a little bit of luck, and other places, they have not. So I did find one guy that had some pretty good luck, and uh, what he did was he modified this T. So I've already started with the one end to make sure it'll work, and I'll show you what I got going on. So what I did is I cut the screen part of it out of this T. You can see that just with some wire snips. So cut that out, and then I bought these stainless end caps. Um, I don't know, they're, they're, they're designed for dryers and other different applications, but the size of them fits very tightly inside of this T. And you can see that it's got some louvers up in here. And if you see how I have it oriented currently, so if this is the termination T on the back of the building, you can kind of see that I have the exhaust kind of pointed out away from the building just slightly. Um, not directly back, but just kind of down and into the back. So this, I'm hoping, will help eliminate some of that exhaust that's coming in. Uh, not exhaust, but, you know, the wind is kind of blowing in because basically it's kind of shielded now because of this bell. Plus it has these louvers in here, which should not restrict any of the airflow. I mean, they're they're pretty pretty wide. They're, they're pretty good gaps there. So uh, I should not have any problems. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish uh, modifying this other piece here. I'll kind of show you as I cut it out and orient it. But uh, hopefully this will this will help do the trick. So as I mentioned here, I'm just going to I'm just going to finish cutting this out. Put some gloves on just so I don't get cut. But I'm just going to snip this out. They come out they're cut pretty easily, so there isn't much to it. Snip that out and then kind of left some little nubs here, but uh, I'm going to trim these off here a little bit as well. It was just hard to get that bite in there with, uh, with that screen in place. And this is going to be kind of hard to test. I'm not going to be able to show you in this video most likely because we just don't have that much wind today. It only really happened on just super windy days. Um, and two, the wind had to blow a certain direction, but it was annoying enough that basically it would cause the furnace to shut down and then the wind would start blowing again. 
or I'd say, sorry, the wind would stop blowing again and the furnace would fire again. Now the furnace still was able to keep up even on the cold days. Uh, it just wasn't running that efficient, obviously, because it wasn't getting super hot. And uh, it was just constant on and off, on and off, which was uh, quite annoying. So I'm hoping that this uh, this will help. So let me grab the other vent here. So these have these little tabs on them, which kind of hold that in place. It actually holds it pretty tight on this vent. Now I can put some additional screws in here if I want, but I think what I'm gonna do, cause I'm not 100% sure about the positioning, like where this should actually be. Um, I, I really don't wanna put them straight up because that'll let a lot of water in obviously. So I wanna try to keep them down, let that exhaust kinda funnel out that way. So this gives me the option, they will pull back out. It's, they're kinda hard to get out, but they will come back out and uh, I can reposition them if I need to. Once I figure out, you know, how the exhaust is moving and kind of watch it the first time around. So I wanna to try to get these pretty close to the same angle. And still kind of a guess, but let's see how I got these positioned here. Pretty similar there. So I'll shove that in there. Let's see what it looks like before I put it in all the way. Yeah, that, that looks pretty close. So we'll just go ahead and push it in the rest of the way. And you can see if I pull on it, it's it's fairly tight. I mean, I can definitely yank it back out if I need to, but it, it's really tight the way it is. So I'm kind of happy about that. Um, and I can't even like, I can't even spin them while they're in there. So I, I know that they're tight. You have to pull them all the way out, reposition them, put them back in. So that part looks good. I think my angles, like if I look at it like that, I think that's fairly close. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. It's gonna get mounted like this. And it kinda puts those in an outward direction away from the garage. So I think that's what we're gonna go with. Uh, really just have to get back up on the ladder and uh, mount this back in, uh, in the end termination there. And uh, We'll turn the furnace on just to see what it does, but I think the the real test is going to be when we get a lot of wind, like I said. Speaking of wind, it is a little, a little breezy today, but hopefully you guys can hear me okay. So we're going to try to get this back on, hopefully get it somewhat level. These go in pretty easily. They just have some uh, some tabs that kind of hold it in place. You have to bend up. But like I said, the trick is getting it level. And you gotta get it level before you put it in place. From the ground, it's very difficult to tell where level is. I should say from the ground, but definitely from up here. <laughs> you cannot tell at all without a level itself. So that looks pretty good where it's at. We're going to try to wiggle this in a little bit more. Or just kind of pound it in, I guess, too. We'll do the trick.
And you may not be able to see this from the ground, but there's a band on here I'm just going to slide in. I'll show you guys what I mean when I get done here. I'll bring the camera up here and kind of show you. Here's the view of that band I'm talking about. So this is the steel band. It goes around. What I did was I slid this underneath. And then I just got to take pliers, pull this back over top of it, kind of bend it back into place. Three of those. And that holds, that holds this whole T on real tight and uh, should not should not move then so here's the here's the view of the bands once they're in you can kind of see they're wrapped around and I just kind of pressed them tight there and I did the same thing with all three of them so that keeps them in place and uh, I'll show you what it looks like from the ground Here's what it looks like from the ground looking up there. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how this works out. Back inside here, I don't know if you can hear the uh, furnace running, but I did fire it up here. So we're going to go back outside just to check the exhaust. I just kind of feel it just to make sure that it's, it's pushing it out and uh, nothing's blocked. So back up here at the exhaust, everything seems to be working just fine. I know you can't tell, but uh, I mean, I can feel the heat coming out uh, all the way over to there. Here's another look at the top side. So again, I can feel it coming out. Actually, that's probably about 18 to 20 inches away. You can feel the heat from it. Just one more thing I wanted to check. Uh, is just just kind of check the exhaust temperature, see where we're at. Like I said, I think we're okay. 154 degrees. That's a little cooler. 152, 153. And it should get cooler as it comes out here. Well, that about wraps this video up. I do have a CO2 detector in the garage, so if there's any concern, uh, I should be aware if it's not pushing out the fumes as it needs to, but nothing's blocked. It has plenty of airflow. It's a very short run that I have here, just from the back of the furnace, out the wall of the garage. Um, this furnace is made for definitely longer runs than that, so Again, I don't think it has any problems um, with, uh, with those louvers on the outside there. I can open the louvers up just a little bit if I need to later on, on the caps that I put on. But um, we'll just have to wait for a windy day, see what it does, see if that helps or not, and uh, kind of go from there.